Hey guys, what's up? Um, this is the second video I've uploaded today of some gameplay. Playing Team Deathmatch, regular, not Ground War. Just decided to switch things up. Anyways, this is Nuketown, the map. It's the smallest map they've made. It's I actually like it. A lot of people don't because of the terrible spawns. You gotta get over that. You just gotta, you know, find a way to get through it. Hipfire that guy. Like I said, steady aim on MP5 is d is deadly. It's very good. The red dot is just for range if I'm going to get range kills. Um, I have been jumping a lot around with classes. So, but uh, red dot MP5K is a decent class. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite class, but I decided to use it just because uh, this is Nuketown. Very small, close quarters. Pick up the guy's M16. I uh, picked that guy off with the hipfire. That's how shows you how good the hipfire is. And then on Nuketown, oh, there's the double rainbow on the horizon. But on Nuketown, it's very important to kind of just find find cover. You never want to be out in the open. You never want to be running around. You want to be like me right, right here. I'm just kind of like always behind something. Luckily, that guy kills my teammate, and I'm able to get him. I'm kind of just pushing through. I already got my care pack. It's only like I have had like one-third of the kills out of the whole thing. This guy is just confused as to what's going on, so I knife him in the back. I didn't even know there was a backyard right there. That's kind of cool. Um, the, on Nuketown, I'm going to explain this. There's two houses. Right now, we're at the yellow house, and then there's the teal house. I think it's teal. Um, I like holding out the yellow house more than the teal house, just because, I don't know, it seems like this house has better, like, it's not as big, I don't think. And anyways, I, I decided to redo my Claymore, which is something cool about this game that Modern Warfare 2 did not let you do it was put your move your claymore if you didn't like where you put it. Um I wobbing that guy I don't even know what happened. Anyways I just I kinda run a gun. I've already went through three different guns. I went I started off with the MP5, switched it to the FAM, or the M sixteen, switched it to the FAMAS, now I have both. Um I am using the eleven kill streak. I've tried dogs before and I don't quite like dogs as much as I do like the gunship. Um, I just picked up the gunship right there. I get behind this little mannequin and call it in. The reason I like the gunship so much, I like it better than the AC-130 and the chopper gunner from Modern Warfare 2. Um, it actually lets you move the ship around, not just the, the gunner. So, you can use, you can just fly around the map and shoot people. It's not, I don't know if it's quite as deadly as the AC-130 bolts are. But I actually, not this game, but I actually had a game where I got about 15 or 20 kills in it and it was really nice. Uh, I don't know what the, uh, I think they think there's a stinger in this game, but it's called something else, but you don't unlock it until a little bit later. So, if you guys are playing right now, it's a good idea to use the gunship thing, if you guys can get to an 11 kill streak, It is pretty difficult, but if you can get the gunship, because nobody really has any stingers yet, so it's pretty tough to get down. You won't get shot down right away, you'll have a lot of time to use it. And another thing I really like about this game is the way that the kill streaks don't build on each other. So like in Modern Warfare 2, if you get a predator missile and get um, a multi kill with it, you instantly have your pave low. And then you use your pave low to get your whatever. And like anybody it's like if the rich get richer if you know what I mean. Like is if you're getting something you're get you can use that to get more. I get this guy trying to flank me. Most of them know where I am just because I've been getting so many kills. And they're probably a little angry about all the chopper <laughs> chopper gunning I've been doing. Well, actually, this game, the chopper gunner, is called the gunship. And the gunship is what I was just using. And the chopper gunner is actually something different. We're on, like, a side door of a helicopter, and, and you're in a little, uh, a little turret. And it's not very good. I mean, it's good compared to all the kill streaks there is, but it's not very good compared to the gunship. Um, there's a lot of new stuff they did. For example, there's this thing called the Blackbird. And it's like a UAV. But instead of throwing a line and showing and then showing you dots that resets every five seconds, it actually shows you real-time arrows of the other team. So that's pretty cool. And it does it for a while, and it does it for everybody on your team. Um, I have been using that lately, just using that and then a uh, gunner and spy plane. I really don't like care packs in this game. I haven't gotten any luck with them. I think I got dogs once, and I've called in like 20 of them. I always get ammo, like probably half the time I get ammo, and then the other half I get spy plane, and then maybe sometimes I'll get lucky. Um, they did add the sentry gun in this game, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I had a chance to use it. The sentry gun is very cool, like it's a lot better than Modern Warfare 2, so if you guys are those kind of guys that like um, setting up sentry guns, that guy just got embarrassed, he tried to RPG me and I ran at him and got him. Anyways, if you guys like the uh, sentry gun, it's really good in this game. 
Anyways, it's almost the game's almost over, and I noticed they all spawn behind me. See the black bird right there? So I go here, and I just let them walk in. I would have had a double, but the game ended. And as you guys know, when the game ends on Nuketown, you get a big nuke. See? Anyway, I'll see you guys later.